What a heartbreaking moment. Thank you for joining me on my channel. My name is Primrose and if it's your first time, you are welcome. And if you're a Chinese habit, thank you so much for the continued support. The Namibian President Nangolo Mbumba received a condolence visit from His Excellency Mokwezi Masisi, President of the Republic of Botswana. President Mbumba expressed his gratitude to President Masisi for being the first head of state to visit and pay respect following the passing of the late President of Namibia, uh, His Excellency Dr. Hagi Gengop. On his part, President Masisi expressed his heartfelt condolences uh, on his own behalf and on behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of Botswana. The two heads of state pledged to maintain and further strengthen the strong bond of relations that exists between the two governments. As a lot of you know, guys, Masisi and Gingob were very close friends and counterparts. President Masisi, accompanied by President Mbumba, also paid a condolence visit to the late president's wife, Madame Monica Gingos, the children, and the bereaved family. President Masisi shared fond memories of the late President Dr. Hagi Gingob and assured the former First Lady of his support during this time of bereavement. According to Tswana culture, Kiswana said to say, guys, we really appreciate uh, the President's uh, support. And guys, I was just so saddened by what I was hearing from the radio stations. There's this radio called Radio Wave in Namibia. It's run, I think, by whites mostly because most of the people that work there are whites. They were like so, like, you know, um, feeling like as if the president of Botswana is misusing the funds of Botswana. Like uh, they were saying, he's just misusing the tax funds. Why should he even be the first one to actually come here? But I don't know if they really understand uh, the unity that was between the skies, honestly. Yeah, it was so, like for me, it's something that was genuine. It's not something that was forced. Their bond was just so undeniable, guys. And you know, right, guys, I just felt my my eyes clouding when I saw the president of Botswana giving a Mrs. Monica Gingos a, a hug. Like, you know, it really touched me. It really touched me because it was so genuine, guys. I could just feel, see the pain in his eyes. But rather than that, to the side with the radio wave, guys, uh, the, a lot of Namibians on the comment section, guys, they were so appreciative uh, of what uh, uh, Dr. Masisi actually uh, did because they were saying that this really shows, uh, you know, the unity that was in between them. Because, uh, yeah, he, he, like I said, he was the first president to actually uh, come and show support. But again, guys, once again, I still say condolences to the Namibians, condolences to the King Ops family and uh, friends and uh, everyone, guys. And I'm interested in knowing what your thoughts are if you are from Botswana. Do you think uh, this was a good gesture or do you think, just like this word, uh, guys from Red Wave, that uh, the president was misusing funds? But yeah, guys, I'm not in support of that one, honestly, because Kili is so this thing. Yeah, but anyway, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Remember to give this video a like, a share, and consider subscribing. President Bumba, he Age had asked him that the, one of the eight people that is always notified about everything is uh, President Masisi. It was his uh, younger brother.
Yesterday, that was yesterday in His Excellency. I wanted to give him and give him space to sort things out. Yeah, I want to introduce you to Nandi. Hi, Nandi. Uh, eldest daughter. Hi, Nandi. Uh, I'm sorry. Condolences. Thank you very much. Yeah, I wish to meet all of you. You know, all, you talk about you all the time. <laughs> this one to this one to this one. Yeah, yeah, I say, President. That uh, my brother would call me at any time, mm -hmm. and he must continue the same. Mm -hmm. And I defer to him out of respect for his age and for who he was and what he's done. Yeah. Because the audio was uh, a bit bad, guys, on that uh, video, uh, this is what uh, Monica Gingo said to President Masisi. He said, I cannot do this alone. Late President Hagi Gingo's wife, Monica Gingo, said, uh, says they had big plans uh, for the future before Gingo's passing. But now that is gone, she cannot do it alone. Yes, we did have big plans, but no, I don't think I can do it, said Gengos while speaking to Ozana, uh, President Mohese Masisi. At the same time, she had also told President uh, Nangolo Mbumba that Gengop uh, had asked her to notify him that Masisi is one of the eight people who should always be notified of everything happening in the country. Gengos said Gengop described Masisi as his younger brother. Wow, guys, that's so, like, mind-blowing. But anyway, guys, that's all I had for you. I'll see you on the next video.